Hey everybody, it's Butcher from Level Up Tactical here today. We're uh, going to talk about a uh, new rail system that's out. Actually, it's been out for a little while, but uh, not a lot of people have seen it. Not a lot of people know about it. It's the Seekings Precision NOX rail system with M-Lock uh, rail attachments in 15-inch. So, Seekings Precision is a company that strives on uh, quality product. They don't like to cut corners. They did do some manufacturing for some other companies in the past. I'm not sure who they're doing manufacturing for now, but basically the products that they're making uh, branded under their own name are very, very good quality. I've used Seekins for the past probably three or four years on various builds for my own personal use and uh, things that I've helped uh, other people for with. And um, everybody's been very, very happy with the rail system. So what we're going to do here is we're going to unbox the NOX rail system and 15-inch uh, NOX rail system with M-Lock from Seekings Precision. You can see here, it does come in a nice packaging. It is made in the USA, which you can't beat. Um, you know, I opened this already, but it does have some basic information on uh, firearms, seeking, seeking precision, and everything else. But you can open it up when you get it. It comes nicely packaged, again, in the branded packaging. Uh, the rail is secured in with some foam pieces here uh, to help it prevent it from uh, sliding around in the box or during shipping and while it's on display. In the box, you get the rail system here, which is very nice. I'll show it to you a little bit more in a second. You get some instruction uh, on how to put, install the rail. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I'll give you a quick rundown on it in a minute. Um, it comes with a barrel nut and uh, two attachment screws to secure the rail to the barrel nut. Now, the rail itself is, uh, is very, very, very... Uh, I don't know. I, I really like this rail. I mean... Uh, it's stylish. It feels real good in the hand um, when you hold it here. You can see it's not too thin. It's not super, super thin, and it's not super thick where your hands feel like they're, you know, they're holding on to a, a pineapple, basically. Um, you're looking at, uh, let me see if I can show you. Maybe over here it looks better. You can see the M-Lock attachments here. Uh, it does have the M-Lock branded logo on it here. Okay. Uh, it's pretty nice. The, the hard code on here, the anodizing, if you will, is uh, very smooth. It's very um, consistent. There's no very you know fluctuations in the look, so it is going to look very nice on a, on a premium level upper if you decide to build a premium build. Uh, even if you have a budget build and you're just looking to upgrade, this will be very, very nice. It does the standard uh, rail attachments on top that everybody's been using for years. Uh, you can see it there. Uh, the handguard itself is made from uh, a solid piece, a single piece of uh, 61, I'm sorry, 6061T6 aluminum. Uh, it has a Type 3 Class 2 hard coat and matte black. I think they might even offer this in a uh, flat dark earth. I'm not really sure. Um, but, you know, for what we're doing with this one, we, we are basically using the flat black anyway, so it really didn't make a difference. It is a single piece free float design, which means that it will attach to your uh, AR upper and it will basically, nothing else will touch the barrel. You know, this basically attaches to the upper and nothing touches the barrel. Um, the exterior dimension, uh, outer uh, profile is 1.5 inches. The inside uh, in here is uh, 1.35 inches. Uh, internal diameter. It is lightweight. I forget the exact um, weight of the piece, but it's, I mean, this thing is light. Um, it's, it's super light. Uh, and it comes with all the mounting hardware. Now, it does come with the with a barrel nut here, uh, threaded side, front end barrel side, uh, and it comes with the two screws, which would help to uh, secure it to the barrel nut here. Now, uh, I'm going to show you real quick. I do have another, an upper here, uh, which I'm going to show you guys in another video, but basically the barrel nut you secure the barrel nut to the upper, okay? You're obviously going to torque it down to spec. Uh, make sure that's nice and tight. Now the barrel, uh, yeah, obviously the barrel's going to come out of here. The barrel nut's going to secure the barrel. You're going to slide the upper, the uh, handguard over the barrel nut, okay? And just for the sake of the video, I'm just going to kind of snap it in here. Now you can see that it does offer a nice monolithic look, okay? It is two pieces. You can see it there. There's two pieces. Um, but when it's screwed, when it, you secure it in, it's nice and tight. Now I don't even have the, the screws in the bottom here and you can see there's very, very little movement, if any. Now when I tighten that in, this is not going to move at all. You can see that it does hug the, this lip here, does hug the outside uh, contour of the upper. Uh, there is a nice little jut in, a cut in here to make sure that the uh, ejection port cover rod is not obstructed or doesn't skate. 
uh, and it looks like it is going to be a very nice fit. It does look very nice. Now this is here, this is a Seeking Billet upper, which I'll show you guys in another video. But you can see if you decide to do a full Seekings build for an upper, it does look very slick. Okay, Slide that off, slick the upper over here for now. Now uh, Seekings offers this in a, var uh, a variation of sizes. The 15 inch will run you run somewhere around $180. Okay, it's very nice. Again, nice, it's very lightweight. A lot of venting, so you know, you know, if you run a hot barrel and it's gonna, you think your barrel's gonna get hot, uh, you know, this will offer a lot, uh, plenty of venting for you. The 12 inch version of this will run you around $170, and the 9 inch version, which I believe is the carbine length, will run you about $160. Uh, and you can obviously, again, this is the 15, so you figure, you know, 12, 9, somewhere around there. Um, and uh, it does come in MROC or key mod. Uh, so, you know, if you haven't decided which uh, rail system you want to use yet, if you want to go with the m or uh, then th this is great that you have the options there. If you have a bunch of, of uh, if you have an, a, a key mod version of a different rail system now and you have all key mod accessories, you can get this same rail in key mod uh, and, you know, just use your accessories. So, anyway, guys, that's it for the Seekings NOX rail system in 15 inch. Uh, I do uh, recommend this, this rail system. Uh, if you have your chance to check one out at your local uh, firearm store, definitely do. If not, uh, check it out at your local gun store. Or if you want to take my word for it, go ahead and order it. This is a very, very sweet piece. I like it a lot. All right, guys. This is uh, Butcher from Level Up Tactical. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook. Or you can check us out at our website at www.leveluptactical.com. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll have a ton of of uh, product videos coming out in the next week or two uh, as we started to video some more. And uh, as always, guys, stay safe and shoot straight. Take care.